This is the Rita Cosby Show. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy, great to have you here on the show, my friend. Always, always good to be with you. Rear. I'm, I'm back in Staten Island right now. We just finished a fabulous rally for Andrew to end, you know, basically end the campaign. We had an enormous number of people there. It was only one block away from where I was assaulted, uh, and uh, the support was uh, the support was terrific. But in any event, uh, it was really ridiculous. I mean, I, I showed up at the shop right where I have campaigned. I'd say literally fifty times. It's probably the most popular campaign stop for 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 particularly Republican candidates because it's in a Republican area of Staten Island. And I, uh, before we started, I wanted to go to the men's room. So I walked all through the store to the men's room. And when I came out, Andrew's uh, campaign manager met me, Sean. And then a group of people started gathering, you know, n- nice people, people that were new to me, people that uh, a first grade, a retired first grade detective I had worked with, a, a woman who, who works for the, for, for, um, for the, uh, for the uh, parks department. And we're walking along. Uh, I don't even think we were discussing politics. I think we were discussing the Yankee game, come to think of it. And all of a sudden, I get hit like, uh, like, a, br- like a brick. And I, I, I get pushed forward a little. I held my balance. I don't know how, but I did. The, I think the woman helped a bit. And uh, before I know it, this guy is like standing in front of me, but like running back. And he's yelling and screaming all kinds of curse words, F in this, F in that, traitor, uh, other terrible words. And then all of a sudden I hear him say, you're a woman killer. Uh, that one really, uh, you're a woman killer, you're a woman killer. And I said, what? what, the, what, what? And, and then he, they, they, uh, the uh, first grade detective and a couple of the security guys grabbed him. He must have been about... 50, 60 yards away at that point. And, um, uh, and, he, and he kept going on about that woman killing thing and about being a traitor. And I was thinking, what should we do with this guy? And I said, I think I, think I have to practice what I preach. I think we should, we should arrest him. It's a perfect application of, of the broken windows theory. You know, you stop this right at the very beginning. And also, I felt like maybe I could make a point for so many of my friends that have been treated so horribly over the last four or five years. I mean, I've had people working with me who were fired from their jobs, fired from their law firms, fired from their law schools, threatened, hit. Uh, I said, let's arrest them. So the police came, and they conducted their own independent investigation. They interviewed me and a number of witnesses. They came to the conclusion that it was aggravated assault because there's a statute in New York that makes it an aggravated offense if the person is over 65. I don't like to think about it, but I'm 77, 78, actually. (laughs) I'm 78. Uh, Had I been somewhat weaker, I would have gone right down and probably crashed my head on the ground. I I don't know if you know this, but, I mean, the single largest cause of death for men over 70 is falling. Wow. So now, how, guy, how hard did he hit you, Rudy? How how hard did because you could see that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, you can't you can't tell how hard it is because it just shows one frame, and it looks like he's patting me on the back. Now, the woman was on on ABC today with me, uh, who witnessed it. She said it was so hard it almost knocked her over, and uh, she's the one who helped me. Uh, and then the detective also said it was. Uh, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't understand how I stood up. He said, you must be in hell, hell, hell of a good condition because I think it would have knocked me over. Wow. Uh, what, what do you say, Rudy? To, did you see the left? I mean, the left went crazy and said, oh, he wasn't hit that hard. What do, what do you say to people well, who say that? All, what's the difference how hard I was hit? Why am I getting hit at all? <laughs> right? I mean, that's ridiculous. How, uh, you know, he shot at me, but he didn't hit me. I mean, this is ridiculous. Why, why is he hitting me over abortion? I mean, this is this is totally un, unacceptable behavior. I'm a 77 year old man. You you can just push a 77 year old man and you can kill him. You knock him down and he hits his head. 
my uncle, my uncle fell when he was 82. He was in perfectly good health. And he died three months later from all the injuries incurred by falling. I can't wow. tell you how many elderly people die from falling. And what's one picking on elderly people? So, uh, uh, yeah, of course, the left loved it because they hate me. Now, uh, suppose it had been Schumer. What do you think would have happened? Well, not only that, but the cowardly district attorney dropped it down to a misdemeanor. The cops fought like hell to get assault in the second degree. In fact, one of my colleagues heard them fighting with the DAs. The DAs wanted to drop it immediately to a misdemeanor, so the guy didn't spend any time in God forbid he should spend time in jail. Uh, and the cops were great. Boy, I mean, these cops can be my cops anytime they want. Well, and everybody, and they everybody were. Like, uh... you know, they said, look, we looked at the picture. You didn't. We talked to 12 witnesses who said this guy hit him very, very hard. And then after that was extremely abusive. One of them said you should you should make it a hate crime because he attacked him over over his uh, 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 views on the Constitution and his views on uh, and his religious views. After all, I'm a Catholic. And I'm pro I'm pro life. And I'm getting attacked. That's a, that's an attack because of my religious beliefs. Are you shocked, so, Rudy, that he is already out? I mean, and just like you, know, you said, I it think, doesn't send a I message. Think the, I think the DA is one of the is, is is well. First of all, the DA is not a DA. He's a political hack. The guy was a congressman who got thrown out after one term of office. He's been in the city council. He's you know he, he's lived in the political slime of New York City, and somehow they made him a DA. Uh, now, if I were a Democrat, you'd think I'd have been treated that way? I don't think so. Yeah. So, by the way, uh, plus, um, and, plus, and Rudy, by the way, I'm sure you probably heard this. Everybody, we're talking to Rudy Giuliani about what happened to him uh, when he was attacked there in uh, Staten Island uh, just a little bit ago. Um, Staten Island uh, Borough President Vito Fasella uh, released a statement, and he said, what happened to you yesterday was absolutely wrong and representative of a dangerous trend. Um, and says, you know, yeah, that that you were assaulted, and just says, you know, how troubling this is. It is it, what is concerning, Rudy, is that it is part of a huge trend across yeah. the country. And I would say that is absolutely true, and that's probably the reason they convinced me to uh, to, to do it uh, and and to charge him. I said, you know, you got to stand up to this, and and there are a, a, a lot of people um, maybe who aren't in the position that I'm in to be able to, uh, you know, make a point out of this. And it is happening all over the country. In many cases, it's much worse than what I went through. Uh, but, and in some cases, it's not as bad. Michael McMahon is the name of the district attorney. And when the people of Staten Island next get the opportunity to vote for district attorney, they should throw him out. Now, I, I even think the governor should consider removing him from office. He refused to he refused to enforce the enhancement statute for a person over 65. And, I, and I'm a lot over 65. I'm 78. And we're supposed to have a little additional protection from getting pushed around because even a slight push on an elderly person can be very, very dangerous. And believe me, there are many witnesses who will tell you, despite the way in which they distort the the film, this was a very, very heavy, uh, I mean, it, it, I, have a, I have a lump on my back right now, and I have pain in my left shoulder, and I have a hard time using my left arm. It, nothing is broken, thank God. I had it checked out. Thank goodness. But I do have, I don't know what you would call it, tra traumatic in injuries, as opposed to anything broken. But that's only the luck of God. I mean, this guy could easily knock me down. And, and, and so what are we rewarding this for? All he's going to do is go do it to somebody else. Uh, doesn't, doesn't this DA have any concern for the elderly people of Staten Island? Are you I surprised, mean, these, these Rudy? Democrats, Rudy, are you Democrats, surprised as a crime fighter, you know, as, as you have been for so many decades now that, just like you said, uh, now here you're seeing, you're experiencing it firsthand. Yeah, well, I mean, I never thought political hacks should be DAs. And I thought DA should be professionals. Well, when I became an assistant, my background when I became a uh, U.S. attorney was as a law clerk to a federal judge. I was an assistant U.S. attorney 
I was chief of staff to the deputy attorney general, and then I was the United States attorney. I hadn't been in politics. I was a completely apolitical, professional prosecutor. I prosecuted as many Republicans as Democrats, uh, maybe more. And that's what a prosecutor should be. You should be uh, a professional, not a political. This guy's a political hack of the Democratic Party. 